Hey everybody, this is Paul Yo Jr. And today we are going to be um, adding a discharge pipe to the uh, TPR valve on a water heater. So this is the guy that I got at Home Depot and it's a PVC uh, discharge pipe. And basically um, the TPR valves are used, which is this guy right here. Those valves are used just in case uh, the water pressure or the temperature really kind of uh, exceeds um, the water tank safety levels. So in that case, in that kind of emergency, uh, the water would start coming out of here and, you know, would flow into some kind of uh, bucket or whatever you have down there, usually a drip pan of some sort. So what we're going to be doing today, I have, I've had this water heater for, for a little bit since I moved into this house. And um, where we live, we actually have to have one of these on. We have to have the discharge pipe on the water heater, on the valve. So what we're going to do today is just show you how to do it. It's nothing complicated. Again, this channel, I always try to keep everything as simple as possible. Um, and But as you can see, the one that I purchased is... A little too long if you can see there so what I'm gonna do is measure from here uh, to the top and then maybe add uh, two inches or so and so I'm gonna measure that and then at the bottom whatever that is up top I'm gonna measure that from down here and cut you know and cut wherever that is and then from there we add the Teflon tape up here screw her in and then we're good to go and that's it so we're just going to do this step by step now at the moment i do not have a a pipe cutter what i would use <laughs> what i would use you know where you just put on the you know you, you wrap it around the pipe and then you slowly turn it and it cuts it off you know in a perfect uh, circular motion uh so for that today i'm going to use a uh i'm just going to use a sawzall to cut this off so what I'm like I said, what I'm gonna do is measure the measure the distance and what I need, uh, give myself a little bit of room, um, and then put the Teflon tape over here. Um, and you always put the Teflon tape clockwise, just in case I don't. Um, so when we're going, we'll be spinning it like that or like this. The Teflon tape has to go in a, in a clockwise uh, formation. And then you always leave a little bit of room on the very top thread right there. And that's it. So, But you wrap it around maybe uh, four to seven times, depending um, on what's comfortable. And that just creates a water a watertight seal. And that's just for uh, anything really, um, uh, water, anything that's, uh, you know, for gas related or, or, you know, using any kind of uh, copper pipes and so forth, that kind of stuff, gaskets. So... So what I'm going to do is cut this and then come back and then uh, put on the Teflon. Okay, so I've cut my wonderful little pipe here, the PVC pipe. And I, like I said, I just used the Sawzall, but it's now the appropriate length where it's not going to be all the way down to the floor. And I'll actually have a, a bucket going underneath it. So the next thing we have is the Teflon tape, or they call it uh, the PTFE uh, seal tape so you can get that in any hardware store and like I said that uh, the main thing you want to do here is just go you, you want to go the way that it's going to screw in um, to the valve so in this it's going to go like this for me so it's just going clockwise so we want to go we just start at the bottom here typically And you keep it nice and tight. Sometimes this can be fun. So what I'm trying to do here is make this as easy as possible here. Make sure it's tight. I think that's the third time we've gone around here. Go around one more 
time. Oop. And then we're going to leave the top thread alone here. And as best we can. Like I said, you can go around, if you really wanted to, you could go around seven times. So, we just want enough that it's not going to, if anything were to happen, or if you ever do need to release the valve, that's not just going to come out on you. That's not just going to start leaking out. So, and with that, hold that part. Goes on like that. And then we have, if you can see, kind of leave the top thread alone. And then we have enough uh, around everywhere else. So that should suffice for right now. So with this, long story short, all we're doing is, oh look, there's me, hello. Going over here to the release valve and we're going to spin it. Hopefully the cube is getting all this. This one's kind of like on a little bit of an angle. Is get enough here where we can just screw it right in. So let's see here. And that's about as tight as she's going to go. So, now this guy, the valve, is a little, little slanted, but it's not a big deal. So what I would have is, this is just, this is just temporary just to show you, but is this valve here going into this bucket. So if you ever do need to release it um, for any other reason, this is all you do. You don't need a lot of pressure. So this is the test. And that's how. <laughs> so the, the PVC pipe will typically be able to handle that uh, <clears throat> a lot of the hot water. They still do suggest, um, yeah, and no water coming out of here. So we're good. We're totally good. And that is about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always try to make just nice and easy things, simple things that uh, um, you can, that, you know, any average asshole can do like myself and so works for me so it's just you know typically I wouldn't even really you know, I really wouldn't have been uh, concerned about it too much um, but we are at least where I live we are required to have this and for whatever reason we did not have this in the house and I was told to get one so little Teflon tape get the uh, you got to get the PVC pipe for the um, for it to drain uh, the the drip pipe, and you're good to go. And that's it. So, like I said, this will actually, if it does exceed, if it hits an excessive temperature or pressure, this valve will release automatically. If you ever need to do it for any other reason, you just do what I just did. Like you don't even have to put a lot of pressure on it. Unless it's been sitting for a while, sometimes you have to give it a little bit of a nudge. But if it's if it's you know in good condition and relatively new, you just give it a little, just a little bit. That's it, and we're good. And that's it. And now there it is. So instead of if I had to do it, I don't have to hold a bucket up to it. I just have the this guy. I'm just making sure that we're good. See, it feels like it's not water. It's just so friggin warm so hope you guys enjoyed that's all i got for today and uh if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it if you got any comments or questions leave them below thanks